guys welcome back to my channel so today has been a busy day I was doing some cleaning and filming and hard work but I'm in a really good mood because I got up really early 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 this morning um, I got up at 5 and I went to Starbucks and I got like an hour and a half of work done and then came home and I feel like a new woman. I feel so good. I took my planner, I got my day planned out. It was just so, so great. And I told Corey, I was like, I think I'm gonna start doing this in the mornings because through the years, I've had jobs where I've worked for myself or jobs where I've worked like away. And I always do better like getting up and going somewhere, like at least to start off. And I think that that might be the ticket. So I'll keep you guys posted on how that goes. But that really helped my day be super productive. And it's now afternoon. It's like later than I wanted it to be to start the vlog off. But that's just the way the day went and Corey's actually on his way home so he is coming home from work a little bit early we got some I think I don't want to hold my breath some exciting news for his work and so I will also have to keep you guys updated I'm sorry there's a few things that there's some stuff that's like on the verge of and I can't wait to share it with you and yeah it's, it's really exciting and really great but anyways, so yeah, he's on his way home and the girls haven't taken naps yet. I can't show them right now because like Hazley's in her diaper and stuff. Uh, you want a pickle like Ev? Yeah. Okay, I'll give you a pickle like Ev. Yeah. We cannot keep pickles in our house. Corey and I both eat pickles and they are, yeah, we just love pickles. Especially dill pickles that look like this. Don't let it drip, okay? You need to suck the juice off. Anyways, they're not in vlog attire right now so i might honestly just put them in pjs in a little bit because it's been so rainy and dreary so they need to go down for their naps and i told corey that i really uh, i need to either go grocery shopping tomorrow i don't really feel like sitting down and doing my meal planning and stuff today because i've already done so much other stuff um and so tomorrow i'm either gonna go grocery shopping or do a grocery order from aldi i'm not sure yet what i'm gonna do but all that to say we still need groceries and so um i was kind of thinking of maybe making a hobby lobby run because he said that when he comes back um he's just going to be here at home and the girls could take their naps and i could go to hobby lobby which i might do and i might also go to trader joe's because i've been really wanting to go to trader joe's and i have like this much of my everything bagel seasoning left if you guys know what that is you know that you can't just run out of everything bagel seasoning. <laughs> you want a pickle like Ev too. <laughs> okay, there you go. Thank you. Okay, they all have their pickles. So I want the reason I want to go to Hobby Lobby is because um, they put out their spring stuff, or so I've heard. I would say the majority of the stuff in my house, like people often ask me about where that came from. It says, this is our perfect chaos, that big huge sign up there. And that is from their spring shop collection. And if I go, I will see if they have it this year, but the likelihood is very slim because usually with their seasonal stuff, it like comes and goes and that's the end of it. So we'll see. But a lot of the things that I've gotten from Hobby Lobby are from what is called their spring shop and it's my favorite stuff i just love it so much i think daddy's here should we go look yeah. all right so corey is all settled with the kiddos i just ate some chocolate so i probably have some on my face <laughs> um because i don't know how many times i've edited videos and i can see that i had some chocolate but i grabbed one of these buy drinks i had gotten these on sale at Publix not that long ago for like a really good price and they do have like as much caffeine in them as a green tea does um, and they've got a lot of really healthy other things in them but I'm definitely feeling that I got up earlier this morning than usual and I'm feeling a little bit tired so that's why I'm gonna drink this I'm gonna head to Hobby Lobby Corey brought the girls home a treat he brought them home like chicken fingers and fries does anybody else have like a significant other that does that to your kids like constantly brings them treats like he will just bring them like gummies or just whatever I don't know that's just his thing he loves to bring them treats to eat and sometimes I get after him about it but 
he's dad, so I can't say too much. Anyways, let's head to Hobby Lobby. Remember how it started I was lost in a dream When the fire in my heart said An open rose I've already found some light The feeling grows And anything sounds all was there a lot of fun stuff at Hobby Lobby. Every single year, the Spring Shop is my absolute favorite set of stuff, uh, even over Christmas. It's just, I love it so much. And I did find a couple goodies, but I'm gonna wait and show you guys later. I'm actually sitting in front of Whole Foods right now. Corey called me and I'm really not that super hungry. I had some um, chicken enchiladas for lunch today and I'm just not starving and he isn't really either. There's a recipe I've been seeing on Pinterest that is called crack chicken dip. And then I've also been seeing another recipe that's basically like jalapeno popper recipe. So I think I'm gonna come up with my own mixture of kind of both of those things. But we really need bread. Corey eats a certain kind of bread that's from Whole Foods. So I'm gonna go in here and if I can't find everything I need in here, I'm gonna go to Target and then I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna make a really good dip. So they were completely out of the bread that I usually get. And then I checked on some other stuff that I just get at Whole Foods and they were out of some of that stuff. And I said, you know what, I'm just gonna go to Target. So I'm headed to Target. Okay, so this is the stuff I picked up at Target. I got thick cut bacon um, to fry up. I got some green onions. And I'm gonna probably like fry these and this together. So I'm gonna dice up the jalapenos. If I had a little more time, I would roast these, but I wanna make this a little faster, or at least sooner than later. Um, they had good looking avocados, so I grabbed two of those. Their um, almond milk cream cheese, this is what I use for like everything now, was on sale, so I got two of them. I'll just probably be using one for this dip. I got um, mild cheddar, I'm gonna shred this up, and then also 
also put some chicken in. I also grabbed some spray coconut oil. We just were out of it and I needed some. And then also the ranch that I use. I love this ranch. It's a really clean ingredient ranch. Plus it's dairy free, which is really great. And honestly, the flavor is probably my favorite salad dressing. And then to dip into this dip, I'm going to use pecan halves. And then I also have some pork rinds. So I'm going to get cooking and see what I can come up with. Okay, here is the finished product. I will type everything up, all the instructions, the measurements, everything, and put it in the description box. This is so good, absolutely delicious. I will definitely be making it again, and it was really simple to make. Hey guys, so it's the next day. It has been so rainy, cold, and dreary. So rainy, cold, and dreary. I think this is the last day that it's supposed to rain for at least a few more days at least till next week. So I'm really ready for some sunshine to come back in. Anyways, so I've just been getting some work done around the house. This is, um, I got up at five o'clock again this morning and I'm just feel like I'm getting so much done with getting up early. And I really encourage you if you're looking to make that a goal for yourself to get up earlier, get things done before your kiddos get up, um, then you can do it because I hate getting up early and it's it's working I'm getting there anyways um the girls are taking their naps right now and I wanted to show you what I got at Hobby Lobby I haven't even gotten a chance to get the stuff out of the bags um just because I've been doing other stuff so I thought I would show you and then I thought we would kind of decorate together or I would put the things where I was thinking I would use them and I'll show you that. I'm sorry the sun is not shining. It's gonna be a little bit of a dark video, but oh well, decorating can be fun even whenever it's dreary, right? So you got a little sneak peek of this rug. We have needed a throw rug for our back door so badly, and recently I cleaned the carpets, and so I wanted something that I could just put back there and it's also something I can put in the washer and I wanted something that wasn't super light in color because it's gonna get dirty a lot because of walking back and forth from the patio so I'm gonna try this out I kind of think I need a bigger rug than this but for the moment this will do and it was only uh like seven dollars because it was half off so i figured you know what for now and we have my in-laws visiting this weekend and i we just needed something back there because we plan to do some cooking in the smoker back there and i know corey will be in and out and so yeah and this was the find of the night i am so excited about this so this is a beautiful beautiful throw blanket i'll put it i'm gonna put it on the couch so you guys can see it has like pretty tassels i love the way it feels it's got these like dark kind of tassel type spots on it but it was sitting in a really weird spot and it had this sticker on it. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's $19.99 and then half off. I got this for $10. I still can't believe it. 
and it's just so cute so pretty i love tassels i'm kind of into that right now and i just think this is going to look really cute on the couch so between this and then the throw rug we're adding a little bit more black into the living room and then i picked up these because you guys know the other day um if you caught the vlog where i made those hangers those pot hangers that are above my desk now well i picked up some fake succulents to kind of drape out of those to give a little bit of greenery in there so we'll do that and then the rest of this stuff is actually for my coffee bar so i'm trying to pull in some like woven natural i love like wood looks that like that and this um so this was kind of i thought really cute and a nice size for my coffee bar to add in that like basket woven look and it was only four dollars i may end up stealing some of this and like having it drape out of here i'm not sure yet i want to put something green in here though i got this like lantern looking thing i love the leather look look to it and i'll probably eventually put a candle in there so that's gonna go on the coffee bar too and then this piece i got to actually kind of do a little diy with i had another one picked out i think you guys saw it it says something about never give up or something like that it was another little uh frame but then i saw this one and this one was, looked a little bit more modern and i love the look of this frame but i'm not huge on what it says inside of it choose kindness laugh often i mean it's cute but i would rather have something a little more inspirational to me and it actually has two pieces of glass so the one piece slides back in there and then there's one on the front of it so i'm actually going to print out my own little saying and just slide it in there i'm going to take this blanket in and put it on the couch and i want to show you guys something in here because i want some opinions all right i laid it there i just kind of like draped it on the couch i love it i love the contrast that it's bringing in so the opinions that i want you guys can spam the comments with all your ideas is what to do above this couch so last night i should have filmed it i should have shown you guys while i was there but i actually picked out a bunch of random round baskets sorry if you hear banging in the background it's our trash truck it's trash day um but I had a bunch of like round baskets in different shades kind of down that color scheme. And I was thinking I could do a collage up there, but then I just wasn't sure. I have this up here and I really like this. I wanna keep it this way. I may even add some more plants eventually um, on the mantle, but obviously it's a wording and I don't really want something else with wording up here. I found online there is a website that makes these pieces where it's like a piece of canvas and there's a wood piece on either side or on top and bottom. And then there's a little string and they just hang. I kind of like that idea because that would bring in another wood look to bring in some more natural elements. Eventually, I want a different coffee table here. I really would like a round one. Um, so yeah, leave me your ideas and opinions. I'll show you. I'll back up a little bit further so you can kind of see the whole. So you see how high the ceiling is in here. And um, like obviously this side, we have the TV there. So maybe something to kind of balance that out. I just feel like I want to put something there. I just don't know what yet. Okay, so there is the rug and I'll show you kind of behind here. This is what I'm saying. I kind of feel like I need something that maybe sticks out to like here because till you come in the door, you kind of have to make sure you're staying on the rug. Whereas I think if it came out to here, it would be better. I don't know. I'm just gonna let, let that there. Like I said, it was $7, so I can't beat that, especially for the colors, um, because it will be really easy to keep, you know, just throwing it in the washer. It's not like it's white or anything. Here is what I've done so far to my coffee bar since I took down all of the Christmas stuff. It was just kind of, I put through together kind of what I already had going on. Then I added this in. This is from Burlington Coat Factory. It was like $9.99, I think. It was really good price, exactly like the height I had been looking for everything this is from the Target dollar spot 
Um, and I do give updates about my coffee bar, kind of do little segments about it on my Instagram page. So, till this video is, goes up, you may have already seen it on there. Um, so this might be a little bit of a repeat. But anyways, um, and then I did add these because over Christmas time, I don't know, that looks like a splash of coffee got on there. Um, over Christmas time, I had little red ones. If you guys have been watching a while, you remember. And so then I found these, and I was like, because the girls were having so much fun. They, all three, love coffee. Hmm, I wonder <laughs> where they get that from. Um, anyways, and so I had little red mugs over Christmas time, and they were enjoying that. So every once in a while, I make them some decaf coffee with these cute little mugs. I kind of think I wanted to bring in another black item. Really liking that. I think I'm gonna, I need to take the tag off of it. I think I'm not sure. I might have to play around with it a little bit. Um, because it's going to have... I want some greenery. Some more greenery going on. And I don't know. Maybe I will end up putting it over here. With the little bit of greenery coming out of it. And then putting this right here. Yeah. I'm liking that a lot. I need to play um, with my computer. With some fun font for that. And figure out what I want to put in it. Yes, I am loving how this is looking. This was from Target Dollar Spot last year. So, and they have more right now. They have more little greenery pieces. So, yes, yes, I'm loving how this is looking. I think it's coming out really cute. All right, so I've been in here in our room. This is where my little desk area is that I've been slowly adding. Some things too um anyways these are the little pots that i made and i'm kind of messing around with the greenery um what i did is i took some wire cutters and i just cut them apart here where's the stem here's the stem from like the pieces that i already took apart and i really need some of that green foam that you can stick like fake greenery and stuff into, but I don't have anything right now. Okay, I opened the blind to let a little light in because the sun is shining through the clouds now. Um, anyways, so I cut all of these off and I think I can just keep, they have a little bit of weight to them, like they're not just light as a feather. So that kind of helps them, you know, balance inside. I just love these things. I think they're so fun. I'm going to take these out to the coffee bar with that little glass bottle and mess around with it a little bit. But there. I'm not sure what I think. I might get some more of the green part, but they're definitely cute little pots. And I really think it's just cool that I made these. Like they're not perfect by any means, but I just think it's fun that I made them. I do want to get like some kind of artwork or something to put over here like Maybe something motivational or I don't know, something else yet to this. But, you know, for being kind of thrown together, like this is an extra dining room chair. I got the desk off of Facebook Marketplace and spray painted it. I don't know if you guys remember that. Um, it's kind of coming together for a cute little office area. I just cut the tags off of everything that was out here. Oh, now it's getting really dark again. It is just crazy out there right now. <laughs> Anyways, um, I cut the tags off of everything and I stuck these little extra pieces in here and I love it. I think it's so cute. It adds like a different kind of greenery than um, the grass. Well guys, thanks a lot for hanging out with me today and yesterday. I think I might cry and get a nap in while well, the girls are getting a nap in. I don't know. But it was fun to go shopping together and to find some fun decor items. I want to start doing this a little more often. I know you guys really enjoy the decor content. And now that we're settled, I'm having fun decorating more of the house. Um, anyways, if you're new here and like motherhood and homemaking style content, hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to give this video a like for me. Comment below and tell me your favorite store to buy home decor at. And I will see you guys in my next video.